When we think about service, sacrifice, and unconditional love, where do these things best fit in? For me, they all fit best in family relationships. Our family relationships should be the best human relationships we have. We can never find that anywhere else except for where God has placed us. And when we find pleasure in everything we do for the family, we honor God. And one may ask, but how can it be? It's been hard for me and my spouse, for me and my parents, and me and my children. My siblings and I have had a long history of issues, and we can't just seem to settle things. Well, the Bible says, Be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. Talking about service, sacrifice, and unconditional love, our Lord Jesus Christ has modeled it for us already. Now the Bible continues on. It tells us, imitate God in everything you do because you are His dear children. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered Himself as a sacrifice for us, a pleasing aroma to God. Simply put, to honor God is to follow Christ's example. We can also see specific instructions on marriage and parenting. Ephesians 5 tells us, Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, and is himself its Savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit in everything to their husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. For a wife, your relationship to your husband is private and personal. You belong to him. To submit does not mean you are of lesser value or you don't have a voice at home. It is a recognition of your husband's leadership and his leadership has been appointed by God. Now the husband, as the head, you are taking the lead. Lead your wife and your family in prayer and intercession. Lead them into having faith in God. Lead them by providing. Work hard, but work smart. Don't forget about your precious time for your family. Just like Adam, we husbands have been placed in our garden, our marriage, to take care of this marriage which has been entrusted to us. Share your dreams and prayers as husband and wife. Believe together, journey together. This way, we will be honoring God. Another verse tells us that children obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, for this is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may live long in the land. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and the instruction of the Lord. Obedience should not be a burden. It is always a blessing to have wonderful parents. Listen to their sound advice. They are one of a kind. God can use them to speak clearly to you. Fathers, let us not discourage or embitter our children, for it will break their hearts. Instead, speak life and have them experience the love of Christ through our actions and through our words. Train and instruct with wisdom that only comes from the Lord. Being with our earthly family is great. But what is greater is the opportunity to honor God in everything we do for our family. Have a great day.